What is the Hyperloop? Here's everything you need to know. Welcome to the Tech Scientist channel, where we dive into the forefront of transportation innovation and cutting-edge technology developments. Join us on an exhilarating journey through the world of Hyperloop, a disruptive transport concept poised to revolutionize how we traverse cities and nations. From the pioneering efforts of companies like Hyperloop Transportation Technologies and Transpod to the ambitious goals of reshaping travel times from hours to minutes, our channel unravels the intricacies, challenges, and incredible potential of Hyperloop technology. Get ready to explore the future of transportation with us, where speed, efficiency, and transformative possibilities converge. What is the Hyperloop? The Hyperloop represents a groundbreaking innovation in transportation currently being developed by various companies. It envisions passengers traveling at speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour within floating pods racing through colossal low-pressure tubes, situated either above or below ground. What sets Hyperloop apart? Two primary distinctions separate the Hyperloop from traditional rail systems. Firstly, passenger pods move through evacuated tubes or tunnels, minimizing air resistance to enable speeds of up to 750 miles per hour. Secondly, these pods don't rely on wheels, but instead float on air skis, akin to an air hockey table, or employ magnetic levitation to reduce friction. Benefits of Hyperloop Advocates highlight its potential for cost efficiency and faster travel compared to trains or cars, as well as being more affordable and environmentally friendly than air travel. They assert that building a Hyperloop could be quicker and less expensive than traditional high-speed rail systems. Implementing Hyperloop might alleviate congestion on roads, easing travel between cities, and potentially unlocking significant economic advantages. When can we expect Hyperloop services? Several companies are actively working to transform this concept into a fully operational commercial system. While the technology is still under development, the earliest possible operational Hyperloop might have emerged by 2020. However, most services are likely to launch later as trials of the technology are still in their infancy. Where will Hyperloop operate? Specific locations for Hyperloop systems are yet to be confirmed, but several companies have proposed routes across the US, Europe, and other regions. These include potential connections between New York and Washington DC, Pune and Mumbai, Kansas City and St. Louis, Bratislava and Brno, Vijayawada and Amaravati, among many others. History of Hyperloop The roots of using low-pressure or vacuum tubes in transportation stretch back centuries. Early instances like the Crystal Palace Pneumatic Railway in Victorian-era London and pneumatic tube systems for mail and package delivery date to the late 1800s. An earlier concept akin to the Hyperloop was the VAC train pioneered by Robert Goddard in the 20th century followed by numerous similar proposals, albeit with limited success. What is Hyperloop Alpha? In his Hyperloop Alpha proposal, Musk outlined a vision for a transportation service between Los Angeles and San Francisco. He argued that it would be more cost-effective and faster compared to a proposed high-speed rail link. Musk advocated for the safety, speed, affordability, weather resilience, self-sustainability, and minimal disruption to residents along the route. He suggested that the Hyperloop could be a solution for travel between cities within approximately 900 miles. Beyond that, he believed supersonic air travel would be more efficient. How does a Hyperloop tube work? The fundamental concept of the Hyperloop envisioned by Musk involves passenger pods or capsules traveling through a tube, situated either above or below ground. To minimize friction, most of the air, though not all, is evacuated from the tubes using pumps. In Musk's model, the air pressure inside the Hyperloop tube is approximately one-sixth that of the atmosphere on Mars. A comparison notable as Mars is another of Musk's interests. Operating at about 100 pascals, this reduces air drag by 1,000 times relative to sea level conditions, akin to flying above 150,000 feet. How do Hyperloop capsules work? In Musk's design, Hyperloop capsules float above the tube's surface using a set of 28 air-bearing skis, similar to how a puck floats above an air hockey table. Notably, it's the pod, not the track, that generates the air cushion, simplifying the tube structure. Other Hyperloop versions incorporate magnetic levitation to suspend passenger pods above the tracks. 
How would Hyperloop be powered? The pods derive their velocity from an external linear electric motor, essentially a flat rolled round induction motor similar to the one used in the Tesla Model S. Musk proposed powering the Hyperloop with solar panels installed atop the tube, generating surplus energy beyond operational requirements. How is Hyperloop different from high-speed trains? Advocates assert that the Hyperloop surpasses high-speed rail systems in several aspects. It's cost-effective and more energy-efficient because the track doesn't continuously power the pods. Additionally, the ability for pods to depart every 30 seconds resembles an on-demand service. It's potentially two to three times faster than high-speed rail and 10 times faster than regular rail services. How is Hyperloop like Linux? Rather than keeping the Hyperloop concept proprietary, Musk opened it up to anyone interested in developing it, likening it to the Linux operating system, an open source design, developed by a community of contributors to transition from concept to reality. Who's building Hyperloop services? Initially citing being too occupied, Musk expressed interest in the Hyperloop idea. There are now multiple companies endeavoring to transform the concept into a tangible reality including startups and those with prior experience in this domain. Among them are Virgin Hyperloop One, HTT, Transpod, Arivo, and others. Each is developing a slightly distinct set of technologies, yet the fundamental concept remains consistent. What is the Boring Company? Musk established the Boring Company to streamline the digging of tunnels between cities, making Hyperloop projects viable. Traditional tunneling can cost as much as $1 billion per mile. The Boring Company aims to reduce these costs to one-tenth through smaller tunnels, enhanced digging machines, and a transition to electric-powered machinery. What is Loop? The Boring Company anticipates one use for these tunnels. Alongside Hyperloops will be for Loop. This is a high-speed underground public transportation system transporting passengers on autonomous electric skates traveling at 125 to 150 miles per hour. These skates accommodate between 8 and 16 passengers or a single passenger vehicle. Passengers and vehicles enter the pods at street level, descending via elevators to continue underground travel, bypassing street traffic. What is the Hyperloop pod competition? To expedite the development of functional prototypes and encourage student innovation, SpaceX initiated the Hyperloop pod competition in 2015. This competition challenges university teams to design and build transport pods judged on different criteria each time. Criteria included maximum speed for a self-propelled pod and successful deceleration. The company is presently developing an initial test tunnel in Hawthorne, alongside plans for a 6.5-mile proof-of-process tunnel within Los Angeles and Culver City. What is Hyperloop Transportation Technologies? Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, Hyperloop TT or HTT, founded in 2013, joins the endeavor to transform Hyperloop into a reality. With a team of 800 engineers based in Los Angeles, the company aims to construct a transport system using a passive magnetic levitation system. Their envisioned 30-meter capsules could carry 28 to 40 passengers reaching a maximum speed of 1,223 kilometers per hour. At full efficiency, they anticipate moving 164,000 passengers daily on a single line. Munich Re, a reinsurance company, has deemed their system feasible and insurable, signifying the progress achieved thus far. What's next for Hyperloop? The future of Hyperloop remains promising for its proponents, heralding potential impacts on air travel reduction, economic growth, trade advancement, and urban housing alleviation. However, significant technical and business challenges persist before Hyperloop technologies can comfortably transport passengers through pneumatic tubes, let alone achieve transformative global change. As we conclude this exploration of Hyperloop innovation, remember to subscribe for more updates on groundbreaking technologies transforming our world. Join us on our next adventure into the frontiers of science and tech. Until then, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of possibility. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next Tech Scientist journey. Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching.